a very good day all and welcome back to art and craft a hobby in today's video i'll be showing you all how to quill this tattoo design so let's begin first i'll be making the flowers and to start with the disc florets i have taken brown and yellow quilling strips which i'll be quilling together and make a tight coil and while quilling i'll not quill one strip after other rather after one or two inches of difference i'll be adding on the strips as i am showing in the video and i'll make a tight coil with it i'll now make a dome shape out of this tight coil and i will glue the inner side to secure this shape i'm now making the ray florets for which i have taken posted notes here i have two shades and i have cut the paper excluding the glued part I'll now make a first fold as I'm showing in the video and then further make it three folded. This piece of paper measures 5.5 cm by 7.5 cm and you can take any paper for this. I'm now going to fringe these strips using scissors. That is I'm going to make small cuts until three fourth the width of this strip. I'm going to make the same with the orange colored paper as well. The fringe strips are now ready and I'm going to wrap this around the first dome shaped coil which we made. I'm wrapping the yellow fringes first followed by the orange fringes. I'm opening up the fringes and our florets are now ready. To make the flower petals, I have taken two shades of uh, strips here, one in 20 mm slot and one in 10 mm slot. The 10 mm strip, which I'm going to make a teardrop shape, I have used half strip of orange and the 20 mm strip, I have used one full coil of yellow. I'm now going to press the coil as I'm showing in the video and I'll fold it into half. In the crevices in the center, I'm now going to put the teardrop shaped small coil and I will secure the end. I'll now shape the tip to get a pointed tip and our petal is ready. We'll need 25 such petals to make the flower. I will now glue the petals to the florets which we made earlier. First, I'm going to put the floret upside down and now I'll start arranging or gluing the petals to the floret as I'm showing in the video. I'm gluing the petals in a slopey angle such that it gives a 3D effect. First layer of petal is now ready and for the second layer I'll be gluing the petals between two petals in the first layer and the two layers of petals is now ready. Here I have two such flowers for this project. I will now make the leaves for which I have taken one green tone strip in a 15 mm slot. I am now making a teardrop shape and then I will shape the blunt end as I am showing in the video. I am now using a dark tone strip. To wrap this entire coil and I'll secure it. We will need five such coils to make one leaf. To join the coils, I'm first taking a strip around five centimeter and I'm making it two fold. I'll glue it together as I'm showing in the video and to the one end I am going to attach one of the coil. I will attach rest of the coils on either sides. And our leaf is ready. We will need 5 such leaves for this project. To make the butterfly, I am using tones of blue and yellow. I have made an open coil with the yellow tone by putting it in the 15 mm slot. I am now going to glue this coil and secure it. I am now going to press this coil in the center 
and shape it like a boomerang this is going to be the part of the wing which will connect the wing to the body next i have one strip of blue tone which i have put in the 25 mm slot i'm now going to make a teardrop shape out of this and we'll need six such teardrop shaped coils i'm now securing this teardrop shape with some glue I have a lighter tone of blue in the 20 mm slot which I'm going to make crescent shaped and into the center of this crescent shaped coil I'll be placing the teardrop coil as I'm showing in the video I'm now gluing the six teardrop shaped coils to the boomerang shaped coil which we made once gluing all the six teardrop shapes i'll be allowing it to dry next i have five teardrop shaped coils which is made with half strip of yellow tone this is similar to the petal the center of the petal which we made i'm now going to glue this to the open tip of the teardrop shaped coil in the butterfly as i'm showing in the video I'm going to apply this only to the first 5 teardrop shaped coils. I'm now going to make the extensions for the butterfly wing for which I have taken tones of yellow and black. Here I have a open coil of 20 mm size which is made with one full strip of yellow. I'll now fold this coil in center as I'm showing in the video and I'll place one black tight coil in between the two folds and I'll secure the end. I'll make four such coils of different sizes for this. I'm now attaching these coils to the wing of the butterfly. to attach the coils i'll first hold the teardrop shapes in the wing together so that the wing doesn't open up and then attach the coils starting from the upper side of the wing i have made the smaller wing for which i have used five teardrop shaped coils and each of the teardrop shaped coil is made with one full strip by putting it in a 20 mm slot i'm now wrapping the smaller wing with black colored strip as i am showing in the video i'm now securing the ends of the strip i have some tight coils made with half strip of yellow which i'll be gluing it into the edges of the smaller wing to give it a color contrast I have wrapped the bigger wing as well with a black strip and I'll now join the two wings as I am showing in the video. I am now using a teardrop shaped coil made with half a strip of black. I'm going to shape this as I am showing in the video and then I'll attach it to the back wing to give it an extension. To make the body of the butterfly I have a tight coil made with one black strip I'm using a skewer and I'll make a bell shape out of this coil as I am showing in the video I already have one more bell shaped coil and I'll be gluing these two together before joining them I'll secure the inner side by applying some glue and then I will join the two coils I have made the antenna for the butterfly by folding a 5 cm strip into two and then curling the ends. I'll now glue this to a tight coil made with half strip of black. So this is going to be the head of the butterfly. I'll now glue this head to the body of the butterfly. I'm using a 10 mm coil made with one blue strip to connect the body and the wings as I'm showing in the video. 
while connecting the wings and the body i'll keep the wings raised in an angle to give a 3d effect once secure i'll allow this to dry to set up all the elements together i have a piece of cardboard which i have painted with blue and yellow i'll first glue the leaves onto this cardboard on the blue portion followed by the flowers so the background and the elements will be in contrast i'll now glue the butterfly to the yellow portion of the cardboard and to keep the 3d effect intact i'm going to place some small coils made with half strip of yellow underneath the wings of the butterfly and our project is ready hope you all liked today's video if you did please do hit the like button also do share your feedbacks in the comment section share and subscribe to art and craft a hobby for more such videos thank you for watching keep supporting